Hello guys, Mickey Magic here, and I'm sorry for my for me being absent uh, this week, but that was because it, there's a lot going on here, and uh, so today I took some time to make a tutorial, and this is actually a request. Uh, I asked if you want to know how to create to make shattered items, so you can shatter items in Unity. And there was a response from someone, and yeah, I decided to make this tutorial because it's very quick, so it won't take me too much time. So yeah, uh, let's start by opening a Blender, and you should get the basic scene. So we're gonna just use this cube over here. First, we're gonna bleed the light and the camera over here because we don't need those. So right click on the camera, X delete and right click on the light, X delete. So now we wanna go to a uh, file and we're gonna go to user preferences. We're gonna go to add-ons. And we're gonna go to search and search cell. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. An object it should uh set, set object cell fracture. We wanna enable this one. Enable not this one. So I already have this one enabled and what I want to do is right click to select the cube and under the tools it should say cell fracture, flex fracture, left mouse click and noise, we're gonna change the noise to 36 and ok, that should be ok, press ok and it's self fractured it. You can see that over here if we select there are cells. But we won't be doing much over here, we just wanna go to file export FBX and to our to the project in Unity that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna export it into Turtle One Assets and I'm gonna say cube Okay, I don't like that. And export FBX. So now we have that done. I'm just gonna close this up. I'm not gonna save it. If you want to save it, you can just go to File and and save as. But I'm just gonna go out of this program blender. Now we wanna open up Unity. I already have it open up, and this is my basic project. What I want to do is just create game object, 3D object, plane to create a basic scene that we'll use uh, to destroy these cubes. So now we want to go to assets and import package characters if you don't have one. And I'm just gonna drag mine over here, uh, which is where is he? There's I don't know where I have it. After burn to the FPS controller over here. Yes, I'm just gonna drag it up, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to show how to create a shooting script because this is the most basic of probably uh, half of the tutorials in Unity are about basic shooting. Uh, I'm just gonna include one of the scripts I did in Bioshock Viger package. If you want, I, I'll include another script so you'll have a whole bunch of scripts. I won't even explain it because we have so much of explanations about that and I'm gonna create basic sh shooting first. Let's just game object, create empty, drag it on the first person character, position it, position it 0, 0 and 0 a bit in front of the camera and this is be where we'll be sh shooting from. I'm just gonna drag my shooting script. Uh, shoot to I don't I won't set this I'm just gonna use I'm gonna create a new game object 
3D object sphere. Gonna resize it a bit so it's not huge. Add a component, rigid body. Add a material to it, probably green, let's say. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my assets, create, right, left, right click, create, prefab, and bullet. And I'm gonna drag my sphere onto the bullet. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the sphere because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna add it to my shooting script. To my shoot, where's the bullet? If I play, I'll be able to shoot, but that's not the main thing we, we're doing here. Yes, I'm at the shoot. And, uh, but the main thing we're doing here is destroyable items. So I'm gonna drag my cube into the scene. I'm gonna resize it a bit. I'm gonna drag it a bit up. And now I'm going to create a prefab. So I'm going to drag this cube out of the cube, uh, parent. And I'm going to select this cube parent and all of the children and shift and se select all of those and I'm going to add a component uh, box collider and add a component rigid body okay so that's it another thing we can do is go to cube and add a box collider I'm gonna search for a simple material so to make it a bit nicer so red, okay, this is red, and select all the cubes to make it the same color. Okay, and make it the same color. So, okay, now the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna make this a prefab. So, go to assets and Right click, create prefab. I'm gonna name this one cube destroy. Okay, and I'm gonna drag the cube parent to it. Okay, not this cube, but the cube parent. And I'm gonna delete this now. So here on the this thingy, this our cube. I'm gonna add a component and new script. I'm just gonna write it because it's a really basic thing to do, and I'm gonna name it dist distro. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm gonna double click it, and we're just gonna write a simple code for it. So I'm gonna delete this, what we have in the script, on the basic script, and I'm gonna start by function on collision enter brackets core Brackets make a bit of room and then in the code instantiate. This means it will be uh, spawning an object at the same location as our previous object that will be destroyed. And uh, first, we're gonna declare a variable. Variable, uh, I'm gonna name it. Shatter, and I'm gonna make it a transform because it's better than game object because of the position. I think so. I believe so. Stationate, so stationate, and then uh, transform. Oh, I forgot. Shatter. Uh, 
and or dot position beta dot and ending. That means it will be instantiating an object on the same location and with the same rotation as the previous object. Uh, and that's a very useful thing to do. And at the end will be just destroyed game object. So we'll be destroying the game object at the end. We mustn't destroy it before we instantiate it because otherwise the, work, the code won't work. So, EM collision, enter collision. Okay, that's it. We're just gonna save and close it. And we're gonna drag our cube destroy onto the shatter. And now, if we play the scene. We can destroy it with just a simple shoot from an object that has a collision. If you want, you can add tags. I'll quickly show you how to do that. So go to destroy to our destroy script and under the collision, we're gonna type simply if back is. Uh, game dot oh no uh, sorry we call it call so call dot tag equals equals let's say kill I guess And with the curved brackets, call call the um, game object. Skill instantiate object. That's okay. I'm a bit confused over here, but it's okay. Now go to the bullet and add a tag. Add a kill tag. Because we used the kill tag. So kill. And now should be only. Yes, it works. So now you can define by which objects should the cube be destroyed. So that's a very simple tutorial on how to shatter items in Unity. And yeah, I hope we I see you next time as soon as possible. Uh, keep supporting me. You're really great guys. So yeah. Love you all and bye.